an ongoing battle that became a test for people's bonds. The COVID-19 coronavirus. The Philippines. An archipelago of over 7,000 islands is one of the world's most vulnerable countries to natural disasters. Furthermore, the long-running war against infectious diseases has been aggravated by the growth in communicable diseases as a result of lifestyle changes and increased risk behaviors. A major impact on people's lives was brought by the pandemic and was felt on a regional, national, and global scale. It also generated a massive economic loss resulting in businesses closing and people being left jobless. Morale and self-esteem went low as people were forced to stay in isolation, away from their loved ones, being restricted from the activities they once enjoyed, and feeling anxious about the safety of everyone. But no matter how dim it might be, sometimes the answer can be found within us. Resilience and interconnectedness. A simple yet effective solution and uplifting one another in times like this. Developing this will not only help oneself but the people around too. For us to cope up with anything this pandemic would bring us, we must always remember to stay strong. Seek for assistance. If you feel like you can't handle things on your own, do not hesitate to ask for assistance. It can be hard but there are genuine people that you can talk to and possibly help you. Take some time to rest and sleep. More than anything else, it is a great restorative. Create a sleep plan so that you can roughly get up at the same time every day. This will help you feel more stable by adding structure to your day and regulating your circadian rhythm. Remember to stay healthy. It's important to keep your physical, and mental well-being in a good shape. Exercising and eating healthy foods help to reduce the likelihood of attaining a health-related disease. Often fact check. Social media can be the root of both our resilience and vulnerability. It is great for getting relevant information, but on the other hand, it is not always reliable. With the right information, you can understand the situation better and not contribute to the problem. Never overwork yourself. Always know your limitations. Overworking yourself will just stress you out, and as stress always drains energy, it makes you feel tired and unmotivated. Always find a way to balance working and rest so that your body will not be overworked. Give grace. Stress depletes one's energy reserves. It is possible that you're feeling unfocused and unproductive. You can always allow yourself to relax from this hot world. It is normal to experience some jitters as you adjust to the new circumstances of attending classes and working remotely as this is a normal component of the learning process. Allow yourself and others to be gracious and be considerate as well. As Ms. Karen Abasco stated, Our micro-efforts will have macro-effects. Let us not put into waste the resiliency we've built. Let us all help each other face this pandemic. It is chaotic as it looks, confusing as it seems. Though it is difficult, we can surely overcome this grueling situation. Just by simply following the COVID-19 health and safety protocols, we are already making enough efforts and progress with regards to this problem. All that it will take is a discipline and sensitivity. Throughout difficult times where there seems to be no hope, resilience and interconnectedness serves as a silver lining for us to embrace this new concept of the new normal and continue to adapt to each challenge this situation brings. Life goes on, let's live on.